Hi, this is Grace Pamela with Samarana.com and I want to do a quick video tutorial on how to upload your actions and your brushes in Photoshop Elements. So here I am in Photoshop Elements 15 and I'm just going to show you really quick. So first off, you might not see all of this. So what I did is I went to Expert and then I went to Window and I selected Actions. Then your Actions panel will come up. I also opened an image so you can play your actions on this image and I'm gonna close this so I already have some actions on there so if you ever wanted to get rid of anything you just click it and select the delete section if you want to upload a new action you go up here to this little drop down menu and you go to load actions now it won't just pop up here because I already selected it to upload it earlier so you'll have to actually go into your computer and um, make sure you know where you uh, saved your file so you know exactly where to look for it or you can also go into your PC or your external hard drive or wherever you loaded it and just search for the action collection and it should pop up. Then you want to select the everyday workflow essentials and select load. And there you have it, you have your actions uploaded. And then you can go ahead and select which one you want to play and then press play. Now I'm going to exit out of here. And I'm going to show you how to do it in Photoshop Elements 11. The in-between ones, 12, 13, 14 are pretty much the same. So again, I went to Expert and I don't have an image uploaded but again you just go to windows make sure your action is selected and then again the same thing you go up to this drop down menu and select load actions then you'll be in your library and that's where you'll go to select um, where your actions are and then you upload it and then that's how you upload actions in PSE 11 now brushes are a little different. I'm going to go over to my uh, brush panel. You select the brush and then you click uh, your brush here, the drop down menu, and select load brushes. And again you'll be in your computer file. You need to actually find your brush that you saved to your computer and select it and then press load. And then it will load a whole new set. Okay, so I went ahead and found a brush collection, so you can see. So I'm going to go ahead and load. And here you'll see that it's in its whole separate window by itself, a separate folder. And then you just scroll down and you select the brush that you want to use. And it's as simple as that. And then you'll be able to use it on your image. So I'm going to get out of here again and show you in elements 15, photo editor, again I'm going to select my brush, click my brush, click this little drop down menu, go to load brushes, and then you can go ahead and upload your brushes in there and it's just the exact same pretty much. I didn't realize how similar it was until I was doing this. And to upload any overlays all you do is go to file, open and then you'll be able to select your open file otherwise you can play your actions that say load overlays and that will just open up your your computer folder as well so it's all basically you need to be able to know where your actions your brushes and your overlays are on your computer because you go here to upload your overlays you go here to upload your brushes and then you go to your windows and actions and go here to upload your actions. So it's all a matter of knowing where it is on your computer and knowing which section to upload which. If you go to file or if you go to brush, um, load brush and you try loading an action through there, it won't work. It'll say you've got the wrong kind of document. So you need to be sure that you're uploading in the right location because it won't know how to read actions in your brush section and it won't know how to read brushes in your action section and so on. I think if you save it to your computer and like double click it, um, a lot of times 
uh, like if I say you double click your actions or you right click and select open, I'm pretty sure a lot of times it will upload into here, but it's not always the guaranteed way just because for instance, I have Photoshop CC, I have Photoshop Elements 11, I have Photoshop Elements 15, and having all those different programs, um, it won't know which one it wants me to open it in. So you have to be able to know where to upload your files and where you've had them um, located on your computer. A lot of times people like to save them directly on their desktop, like up here, so that way they can just, they know exactly where it is, they can just click desktop. I hope that was very helpful and if you have any questions uh, feel free to email us or message us anytime at support at Thank you so much for watching.